Welcome to Keto Weekly Update with your host, Alicia from Keto Update. Hey guys, welcome to episode 24 of Keto Weekly Update. My lighting is going to be a little bit different for a little while. And this is Sunday I'm shooting this instead of Friday. Because Friday, literally all day, they put up our entire garage. They framed it, roof, not the actual roof, but, you know, put the plywood on and everything all day Friday. And it's just, it's been a crazy weekend. I stayed the same weight wise, but a lot has happened this weekend. And if I look a little tired, I'm a little hungover (laughs) because I had my mom's wedding last night. So Friday, all day they were building and the window that is in front of me was nice natural lighting and it's boarded up because the trusses came up over that window so we had to board that up so now i only have one window on the right side of me so that's why you're gonna see shadows and then i have just a regular like yellowy bulb kind of you know fixture in the middle of this room so until we get like I want to get like fluorescence so that'll put down enough light to not have to worry about natural lighting. It's going to be a little bit weird of like weird of lighting for now, but eventually we'll get this all straightened out. I'll get this room put together. (laughs) This summer just has been, I mean, I can't believe it's already July 22nd. Like it has went so fast and it's just like, I feel like I got nothing bad. Ugh, crazy. (sighs) especially in the weight loss department. So I'm, I stayed the same. So if you haven't been keeping up, I'm 248. I keep going 248, 250, 248, 250, back and forth. But I, uh, I haven't been eating a ton, but I also haven't been moving enough. I haven't been going on the walks because I've been super busy trying to test recipes and, you know, get things done, editing and stuff like that. I really should take time for myself to do some exercises and I want to. I just need to probably get involved with Van and like do some dancing in the living room because last night I danced with Van on the dance floor and my arms and legs are killing me. (laughs) So I just need to try and incorporate him into my workouts. I think that's going to be the best way to do it because when he's up, I'm not doing any work really. So I'm going to try to do that more often. It's just so hard to like, get motivated to, you know, dance around when you know, I can just sit there or sit on the floor with him and play and work on climbing with him and this and that, but it needs to get done. And hopefully by the time I'm editing this, I'll have some cute pictures of us together on the dance floor. My friend Christina took all the pictures for the wedding. So she has a ton and I'm guessing she took some videos too. I would love to have. So It was just last night though, so we don't have them yet, but hopefully by the time this goes out, I will have some cute videos and photos. It was a fun time and he looked so cute. I can insert a picture I took of him because he was so adorable, (laughs) but he had his little bow tie on and stuff and he was great throughout the whole thing until he got startled by things. So like he was fine through the whole ceremony pretty much. He didn't really like make a, make a peep. He was chewing on my, um, wallet band that you know goes around my wrist because I just have like a little tiny wallet so he was chewing on that the whole time but then as soon as everyone congratulated and said you know give it up for the bride and groom and everybody clapped oh he went crazy he like he starts out he doesn't make a sound but you see him go "Ah." so you know it's coming but yeah it was pretty funny but and we put it on um when the DJ first started talking to like, you know, get people going to this or that or doing this and doing announcements and stuff. He got, you know, upset because it was a loud, loud speaker and he's not used to it. So we tried putting earmuffs on him, but he kept just ripping them off. So he was fine the rest of the night after that because I think he just had to get used to it and, you know, was startled by it. But it was a fun, fun wedding. I will insert pictures here. Friday, I didn't even tell my mom this. I pulled out the cake Friday to finish it because it was in the refrigerator until I wanted to like keep it in there until like the last minute because even though it's air conditioned in here, it's still buttercream frosting. So like I knew it was gonna like get soft. And I pulled it out of the fridge and all the ganache cracked 
So I'll show you, I have before pictures of the wedding cake after I had just finished the ganache and like the initial part of it. And then I didn't take a picture of it messed up, but then I took pictures of it when I fixed it. <laughs> so I'll be inserting the pictures as we go along here. But I did on Friday, I pulled it out of the refrigerator during one of his naps because I was planning on afterwards, I was planning on shooting my weekly update, but he didn't nap for very long and I had other things I had to do. And of course there was also, the construction was going until like three o'clock, I think three or four. And I had to run errands too. So I ran errands with him once he got up and then came back. And then once he went down again, it was pretty much my day was gone. And I had to start, you know, thinking about how I was going to fix the cake. And I had to do tuxedo strawberries too. So I'll throw up a picture of the tuxedo strawberries I did. I wanted to shoot a video for you guys on how to do that. I might still maybe just do like a short because it's not like a really long process. But it was fun. I haven't done tuxedo strawberries in a really long time. And they look so cute. And they're really not that hard to do. So it kind of like classes up anything because it looks really impressive. But it's really not that hard. So I would like to do a keto version of that. These weren't keto, but it's the same thing. But and actually the keto white chocolate melted better than I had an old bag of Ghirardelli white chocolate chips that I tried to use and they were all chunky and wouldn't melt. But the Lily's white chocolate melted beautifully. So it is what it is. I'll be probably doing that video at some point. But um, yeah, so my Friday night was spent taking off so the first picture is with the ganache around it that all cracked i don't know why my cake was cool the i didn't put the cake into the refrigerator like while it was still hot like the ganache was still warm i put it in there when it was after it was on the cake i stacked all the layers and like it should have been like pretty close to like room temperature you know at that time and I put it in the fridge and it cracked. So I had to take off Friday night. I took off all the ganache and the chocolate frosting on the one side of the cake. And then Saturday morning, I redid the ganache and the frosting on the cake and then put all the flowers on it and everything. So then this is that picture after I did that. And this was not keto, like the frosting wasn't. So, but it can all be done keto. I have... A link up here, my mom's favorite cake that I had made to that point. I brought over a test cake for her to try it and she loved it. So I made it for her birthday and then I shot that video. So I'll put that video here, the chocolate cake with the chocolate ganache frosting. Super good. I do suggest I'll put up here my chocolate cupcake recipe. That's like a new and improved chocolate cake. And I would use that cake if I was to make this cake again. I don't use that old chocolate cake recipe anymore, but the chocolate whipped ganache with the ganache poured on top, so good. So that's what she wanted basically for her cake. So, well, half the cake anyways. But so I finished it up and I got the flowers on it and everything and put in some stable plastic tubes to put my put the cake topper on and then when I got to the venue which was a 35 minute drive me holding this cake and it was probably close to 30 pounds if not more and I was holding it on my lap like steady because every time we would stop I'd kind of pick it up so I it didn't like rock so my arms are killing me plus dancing with a van but we got there and because of just the heat of being outside and the bumpy ride, my cake settled. So I had to fix it at the venue. But we got there at noon. I dropped off the cake. I helped my mom like decorate the trellis for her wedding. And then I went to the hotel and I did her hair. Like literally there was no time wasted in the last Friday and Saturday. Like I was go, go, go. So that's why I'm shooting this today. It was just, it was a crazy day yesterday. And I did her hair just in time for me to get ready and go back to the hall and set up the wedding cake. And she texted me, we're here, like after I just finished, like setting everything up. <sighs> it was a crazy, crazy day. And then we just had fun the rest of the night, which it was great. It was a fun party and everybody enjoyed the cake and the cupcakes. There was one cupcake left that my mom didn't get. So I had him wrapped it up for her. So 
it was vanilla though so she's probably bummed that it's not chocolate but <laughs> it'll be delicious either way but yeah so i'll put in here these are the pictures of the cupcakes i did which you'll be seeing a video if it's already up i will link it here of the buttercream frosting i did with the piping of the cupcakes because i wanted to show you guys kind of how to color and pipe keto buttercream frosting and show you how to make it because i don't have a specific video on that so i did shoot that video i don't know if it'll be out before this though so but if it is i will link it up there for you and then other news i finally got some bamboo flour bamboo fiber um i did order some a while back from bulk supplements it said bamboo extract but i couldn't like i didn't know if that was correct or not like but i knew bulk supplements so like i kind of trusted that brand so that's why i bought it but it was super dark in color like super dark brown so i tried it in one recipe and i didn't like it like it was a little bit lighter but i really i don't know if it was the flavor of it or what but it wasn't very good so i ended up like not using that really like i don't know what i'm gonna do with that it was like 20 some bucks <laughs> down the drain but a subscriber of mine from california sent me a bag of the bamboo fiber to test out and i did one test with it and it turned out decent still a lot of tweaking to do though so i have kind of a base of where i want to go with it and hopefully i will be getting this cinnamon roll recipe soon and once i get this dough if i get this dough to work like the possibilities will be endless because i can adapt this dough to so many different things that i've been working on like pizza crust and pretzels and stuff like that so hopefully i'll be there soon <laughs> it is i gotta once this is like the last big event i do have a camping trip in august and then i have a couple more vendor shows every month but i don't have any other extra events really so hopefully i'll be able to get to really testing this cinnamon roll recipe and figure it out for you guys. It's on the horizon. I swear. Speaking of the wedding, I wanted to say I didn't eat all day. Totally forgot. Like I had a list of things to pack and I was so worried about the cake and everything that I totally forgot to pack food. <laughs> Oops. And, uh, but I did remember the alcohol. So I didn't eat anything. I was more worried about like getting my mom's stuff ready and getting this and that done. So I didn't eat until dinner time and I did eat a decent, like it was probably a little bit higher carb, but I didn't eat the potato. There was like twice baked potatoes. I didn't eat those. I ate chicken piccata, which was gluten-free. And then I ate barbecue brisket, which I'm guessing the barbecue sauce had sugar in it, but I only ate a tiny bit of that. And then I had asparagus, which I'm sure didn't have any real carbs in it. And then the salad, which was a feta strawberry pickled red onion. So the pickled red onion, I'm sure you got to pickle it with sugar. So I'm sure that had some sugar in it. And the dressing was like a balsamic. And I know they usually put honey or something in balsamic dressing. But that's literally all I ate all day. And then I had a keto cupcake. So that and I usually drink rum and Diet Cokes, which I don't like drinking Diet Coke. But that's what they had there. I could have done vodka sodas they're just not good. <laughs> so I wanted to have a nice time and enjoy my drinks. So that's what I ended up having. But yeah, so that was the wedding food I had. And then just the last thing I wanted to mention was I mentioned last week that I was prepping chicken livers for Van. He loved them. Like I just gave them to him like fried whole like this big. And he just munched away on it and ate like whole chicken livers. Me and Adam ate them in like a cream sauce, a, a white wine cream sauce. And I added broccoli and I did the natural heavens pasta with mine and I gave him rice. So we ate that and like it was good, but it was something about the texture of them that get, that got to me like by the end of it. I had to cut them into really small pieces to like eat them with a bite of the noodle and the sauce and everything. And I added broccoli to it. To like kind of bulk it up a little bit but i mean they were good i just it's just a texture thing with me they were just a little bit too mushy and a little irony and not my favorite i know they're good for you and i know beef liver is too but i don't know if i'll ever be able to just eat it as like a dinner 
but man loved it and he's eaten it since too he's just eaten whole chunks of chicken liver and he loves it it's pretty crazy but that just goes to show you that's why i'm giving him everything and anything even if i'm a really picky eater like i'm better than i was and i eat a lot of weird food i eat less common food like peppers and you know blue cheese and mushrooms i don't like like just random things that i don't like but i'm gonna be giving everything to him so hopefully he'll like it all <laughs> we'll see if it works out i hear still if you do you know this kind of way of eating that they still are going to be picky at like two years old you know they're just gonna want chicken nuggets but i'm not gonna i'm gonna try not to give any fast food or anything and just do mostly like gluten-free healthy chicken nuggets and stuff like that but you never know what's gonna happen <laughs> i may just get tired and just be like let's go here you know I, I mean we never eat fast food really but who knows what'll happen in the future but i think that's about it for this episode of keto weekly update i hope you guys enjoyed i gotta go pick up van to hopefully go and do some swimming so let me know in the comments below how your summer's going what you're up to, what kind of keto foods you're doing this summer. We're doing a lot of grilling, steaks, chicken, stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll be back with more keto videos. Bye guys. You did it all by yourself. Good job. Yay. You did it. You're like, I can't look back at the same time as I'm holding myself up. He did that all by himself. <laughs>